Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a one brand tutorial with Wet n Wild. I have been accumulating their products for the last probably month because I wanted this video to be as encompassing as it could be. Um, but I am missing a primer and an eyebrow pencil, so ignore that. But let's just get into the video. Right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put up my hair because I don't know how to style short hair yet. Or ever. Okay, so I already primed my face with the Becca First Light Priming Filter. We'll go in foundation. Today I will be using the Wen Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Shell Ivory. This is a matte foundation, so as you guys know, I have dry skin. So I'm just going to paddle about one or two little things on the back of my hand. And I'm actually going to add an oil to this, because if I don't, it becomes way too drying on my skin to the point where it's actually uncomfortable. So I am taking three drops of the Tarte Maracuja Oil, and I'm just going to mix it up on the back of my hand here. Just so it gives it a little bit less of a matte finish and more of a dewy finish. And I'm just going to start by putting this on my face. And already, usually what is a very dry consistency is very nice and very dewy. I'm going to be blending this in with a sponge. This is from EcoTools. It's my favorite sponge. Also putting in oil shears out the coverage a bit, which is awesome because I don't like a super full coverage foundation. And this one is pretty full coverage. I like better their cushion foundation, but... The color selection, like the shade range, is absolutely the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so they do not have my shade currently because I'm like weird in between like what's tan for me and my paleness, so. I'm just going to add a little bit more foundation where I feel like I need some more coverage. So it's always on my cheeks. I have hyperpigmentation and I'm going to put a little bit right on my forehead here because I do have a pimple that is healing and some right here on my chin because I always break out there. I don't know why. When I break out, it's only ever on my chin and on this side of my chin. Okay, so next we're going to go in with concealer. I'm also using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I'm in the shade Light Ivory, which is a little dark, I'm going to say. The shade selection on the foundations, like the Photo Focus foundations, is incredible. But as soon as it comes to the, the shade selection on, like, the concealers or, or the cushion foundations, it's actually really pretty poor. I feel like they do not go light enough nor dark enough for everyone. Because I definitely cannot use this in the winter. I can only use this in the summer. But I do love... The coverage it gives I love this most as an eye primer and honestly throughout the year this is what I use to prime my eyelids I don't use in like a I don't use a dedicated eye primer I pretty much just use this and then set it with powder because it gives me a great amount of coverage to cover the veins in my eyelids but also it doesn't crease throughout the day which is what I really like about it and it's like three dollars and 99 cents and I'm just gonna also put this on my eyelids And I'm just going to also put some down the bridge of my nose. Okay, and we're just going to blend that out as well. So this concealer also does oxidize to be pretty orange. But when you blend it out, it's like the orange tinge just goes away. So that is pretty nice. I'm going to set my under eyes with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. This is a warm light, I think. But I'm just taking it on the back of a, a Luxie brush. And I'm just going to set my under eyes. This powder is really nice though and it does give a really nice airbrushed finish. As you can see I've kind of hit pan on this one because it was all I used for probably like three months last year. It also doesn't darken the foundation at all. It really just sets it almost not like translucent because it doesn't have a tinge to it but it's not so pigmented that it changes the color of the concealer that you have or the foundation. And I would say this is like a demi-matte concealer because it's not so uncomfortably matte on my dry skin. But it's also not dewy at all, so we'll go with demi-matte. Okay, so we're just going to move on to the, the rest of the face before we go in with the eyes. For bronzer, I'm going to be using a new product. I was going to use the Mega Cushion Contour in the shade Cafe Slay, which I do love. But since I already set my face, 
um, I'm going to just move on to powder. I just picked this up yesterday. This is the new Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer from the Fire and Ice Collection. This is in the shade Your Dragon, like the fire breathing dragon, me down. Has a little dragon imprint here. So I'm just going to take that on this Emacs design brush. I got a, I think a pack of 10 on Amazon for like really cheap. We're just going to start by, that's really orange. Are you okay? I probably should have taken less of that, but that's my mistake. That's pretty orange though for a, a bronzer. When I was looking for, wow, that is pretty bad. All right, so the bronzer pulls pretty orange and um, that's not my favorite thing <laughs> when it comes to bronzers, but we're just gonna work with it here because I have nothing else. The Cafe Oslay, the Mega Cushion one, does not pull that orange, like, at all. It's actually a really nice, cool-toned contour. What the hell am I going to do with this? I'm going to go back over this with my sponge in hopes of shearing this out a bit. Well, that one pulls pretty orange, but I feel like I got it to be the same. We're just going to go over with the remainder of the foundation on our sponge, just so... I don't look too orange. Okay, that was an experience. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like this. It was, it was just, it's very orange. When I was looking at the other color icon bronzers, the one that come in those like huge oval circular things, they all looked pretty orange to me, so I didn't pick those up. I thought these bronzers would be different. It's not so bad now that I've like, Blended it out, but definitely use a light hand. For blush, I'm going to be using the Color Icon Blush in the shade Rosé Champagne. I actually really like this blush. I'm not one for blushes with shimmers in it, as you guys know. I'm just not that kind of person. But this has shimmers in it, and I've really fallen in love with this. When I looked at this in the store, I was like, wow, this shade is so boring. It's too neutral. Like, it's not going to do anything to my cheeks. I was wrong. I love this. I've been using this for the past like two weeks since I picked it up because I wanted to see if I liked it or if I was going to pick up another one for this video. Should have tried out the bronzer before this video, but we're making it work. So I'm just going to take this on a Real Techniques brush and just put this on the apples of my cheeks and blend backwards. I feel like the shimmers in these, it's not even a shimmer, it's just a sheen and it looks really beautiful on the skin. I just feel like it gives a nice, like, especially for summer, like, ah, sun-kissed glow, almost. It's not so much that I find it distracting or anything. I actually really like this blush so much. And I like applying it with a denser blush brush, which is why I'm using this one from Real Techniques, because then I get the most pigment. So a denser brush gives it this beautiful effect. All right, and for highlight, I don't... I picked up two highlighters as well. This was kind of an impulse buy. It was on sale. This is the Hello Halo liquid highlighter. And when I put it on the back of my hand to start, I was like, wow, this is so pigmented. And then I looked later and it was just glitter. But then I also have this one from the Zodiac collection, which I have a video of my first impressions on. And I liked this in the video. But then as soon as I got out of, like, my ring light situation and I went outside, it was just glitter. So either way, I'm going glitter. I'm just, I almost want to use this one, but I'm afraid it's going to pick up my foundation. Alright, we're just going to do this one anyway. I'm going to use the shade Hello Halo. Goodbye, and I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand for a bit, and I'm going to take it with my finger and try to blend it in that way so it won't pick up my foundation. I don't know if this does. This is the first time I'm using this product as well. Okay, good news is it's not picking up my foundation, and honestly, it's not as glittery as when I put it on the back of my hand when I swatched it. It actually is giving off a really nice, you can see, a really nice glow here. And it's not too, like, pink that it's obvious that I'm having a pink highlighter on. It's actually really pretty. 
I was very surprised. I'm very surprised by this. I very much thought it was going to be way too, way too glittery for me, but I really like this. All right. I'm impressed. The bronzer is looking a little bit better now that it's kind of seeped into the skin. It's not so orange like when we first, when we first applied it. Moving on. Okay, we're going to, I guess, zoom in and do the eyes. Hello again. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm going to be using a combination of eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to be using this color icon one in Comfort Zone in conjunction with the, what is that called? Zodiac Collection eyeshadow palette in Earth. Since we're here talking about Wet n Wild, I absolutely hate this shade here. It doesn't stick. I literally put it on my eye eyelid the other day and I started to blend my crease and it just literally took the entire shadow off my eye. How? And that doesn't happen with these, these shimmers in here. We'll figure something out. All right, I'm going to go in with this first transition shade here and I'm just going to take that on a Moda M16 brush. This is actually my favorite. This is my favorite crease brush ever. I love Moda. We're just going to start to put this in the crease. These are pretty pigmented off the back, so you don't need a heavy hand. And we're just going to blend this. And I'm going to stick with that same color and the same brush and I'm going to just pack this on the outer corner as well. That's what I love about this brush. It's like domed so I could do whatever the heck I want with it. And bring that and concentrate it more like right here in the crease. I'm also just going to take that color on a little pencil brush and just sweep it on my lower lash line. I'm going to take a little e.l.f. crease brush and go in with this shade here, this pink shade, the other matte transition shade in this palette. And I'm going to focus this on the outer corner of the eye, right here. I don't want to put on too much because I really like this orange vibe that we got going on. I could always go for orange, so we're going to pack most of it on the outer corner here, and then just blend it in a little bit. I would love to see Wet n Wild come out with a completely matte palette, because these mattes are blending so well. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that also and put it on the outer corner of my lower lash line with that same pencil brush. Ugh, this is so pretty. I'm going to take this orange shade right here from the Earth palette and I'm going to take it on my finger and just apply it to the lid. That is so pretty. I'm just going to go back in with that purple shade and just intensify the outer corner a little bit more. For an inner corner highlight, I'm going to use this white shade here from the palette, and I'm just gonna take my finger with that because I like applying every shimmer shade with my finger because I feel like it gives the most intensity. I'm just gonna pop that right on the inner corner here. Ooh, that's pretty. And I'm taking that on the brow bone as well. So these are the finished look for the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera now and finish my eyebrows. I couldn't find an eyebrow pencil in my shade. It was either too warm toned or too cool, cool toned or too dark. So I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. It's not my favorite eyebrow day, but we're gonna move past it. For mascara today, I'm using the Max Volume Mascara from Wet n Wild. I've never used a Wet n Wild mascara before, but I love mascaras. So I have hopes that I'll like this one. The wand is really interesting. And this had the best reviews out of everyone. All right, so right off the bat, it is a wet formula, which is not typically my favorite. It just means it'll get messier quicker, but it's definitely like lengthening my eyelashes. Like, look at the difference. I do like that this is like a, um, plastic little bristle thing reminds me of the Maneater mascara that way. It has tiny little bristles and they're all made of plastic. It's almost paddled in a way. I don't know if you can see. It's like paddled. So that's really interesting and really cool. It just means that some of the ones on the end are sharper than the ones at the beginning. I like, I like what it did to my eyelashes. Let's do the other side. Okay, so this is what the mascara looks like on this side of my eye. This is my problem my problem eye, I guess I would say. It's definitely not as like lengthened or separated as the other eye is. When you do try to build this up, 
it does tend to like clump the lashes together in like little threesomes <laughs> it's a horrible way of describing it but that's literally what happens so I would just say like let it dry first but I do think it gives you a nice amount of volume I do think it gives you a nice amount of length I don't think it's the most natural eyelashes and I do think mine are a little bit more spidery I guess than usual I usually have a lot more lashes like my man eater grips onto every single lash so it literally looks like I have false lashes on because every single lash is coated in mascara and this does not do that really I also don't feel like this little tip point at the end gives me a great place to define these outer corner lashes I feel like it's even harder than usual with a regular wand it's pretty thick at the end so like I understand the point of this being thin for the inner portion of the eyelashes but for the outer corners it's kind of hard to get them you know, coated. I, I just put it on my lower lashes. I'm just verifying here. I do not curl my lashes ever. These are just how my lashes look. And it did not like lift them up any more than they usually are. These are how my lashes normally sit like this curled and lifted like that. I'm I'm pretty blessed. But overall, I'm not, I'm not too disappointed. This was a $5 mascara and I think it looks really, really pretty good for the price. Alright, let's just finish up the lips and we will be done. So I'm first going to use a gel lip liner. This is in the shade Bare to Comment. This is my favorite lip liner formula because it's so creamy that you don't need anything to top it. This could be its own like lipstick. And these are like three dollars which is insane and they have a really great color selection. All right, these are what the lips look like all filled out. I'm gonna apologize. It was super sunny and now a cloud got in the way so it's a little bit harsher, the lighting. Um, and we're going to top that with one of my favorite glosses. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Gloss in the shade Featherless. This was a limited edition gloss from their like Hummingbird collection, but I have never tried like a Color Icon Gloss, gloss before and I really love this formula. It's so pretty. It has the perfect amount of pigment. The shine is out of this world. It doesn't taste or smell like anything, which I love. And the packaging is so cute. Let me take my hair out because we finished. My hair is probably going to look really bad. I don't know how to style short hair. If anyone has like tips or like a YouTube video I should watch, please leave it down below because I don't know how to style short hair for the life of me. All right guys, that completes this video. I think at the end of the day, it looks really nice. And I think I will wear this to work today. I was confused. I was like, am I gonna wear this to work? Or am I gonna have to take all of my makeup off? But I think I'm gonna wear this to work. The highlight is so pretty. And I was looking at it while I was doing my eyebrows and really it just looks so nice. It kind of looks a little dry, like right here. Like it doesn't look wet. It kind of looks like it dried down. And a little uncomfortable in that little space but on my cheeks it still looks really nice the bronzer i'm gonna have to play with because once i like blended it out and went over with a sponge it actually looks pretty nice it's just really orange off the bat but everything else i really liked i like the mascara i think my look is really nice and this is such an affordable brand that like it's so awesome that you could get a full face of makeup so yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any ideas for videos that you want from me, leave them down below and I'll see you in my next video.